Hi, my name is Sydney Grubbs, um, and I will be reading the Torah portion bow, um, which is Exodus 10, 1 through 13, 16, and I'll be reading out of the scriptures version. Chapter 10. And Yahweh said to Moshe, go in to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his servants, so that I show these signs of mine before him. And that you relate in the hearing of your son and your son's sons, what which I have done in Mitzrayim, and my signs which I shall have done among them. And you shall know that I am Yahweh. And Moshe and Aaron came into Pharaoh and said to him, Thus said Yahweh, Elohim of the Hebrews, Till when shall you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go so that they may serve me. Or else, if you refuse to let my people go, see, tomorrow I am bringing locusts within your borders. And they shall cover the surface of the land so that no one is able to see the land. And they shall eat the rest of what is escaped, which remains to you from the hail. And they shall eat every tree which grows up for you out of the field. And they shall fill your houses and the houses of all your servants and the houses of all the Mitzrites, which neither your father nor your father's fathers have seen since the day that they were on the earth to this day. Then he turned and went out from Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's servants said to him, Till when would this be a snare on us? Let the men go so that they serve Yahweh their Elohim. Do you not yet know that Mitzrayim is destroyed? And Moshe and Aaron were brought back to Pharaoh, and he said, Go, serve Elohim, who are the ones that are going. And Moshe said, We are going with our young and with our old, with our sons and our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds we are going, for we have a festival to Yahweh. And he said to them, let Yahweh be with you as I go, as I let you and your little ones go. Watch, for evil is before your face. Not so, your men go now and serve Yahweh, for this is what you have desired. And they were driven out from the presence of Pharaoh. And Yahweh said to Moshe, stretch out your hand over the land of Mitzrayim, for the locusts have come up upon the land of Mitzrayim and to eat every plant of the land, all that the hail is left. And Moshe stretched out his rod over the land of Mitzrayim, and Yahweh brought an east wind on the land that came day and night. Morning mm -hmm. came, and the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up over the land of Mitzrayim and settled within the borders of Mitzrayim. It was very grievous. There had never been locusts like them before, nor would there ever be again. And they covered the surface of all the land so that the land was darkened. And they ate every plant of the land and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left. And no greenness was left on the trees or on the plants of the field in the land of Mitzrayim. And Pharaoh called for Moshe and Aaron in haste and said, I have sinned against Yahweh, your Elohim, and against you. And now please forgive my sin only this once and pray to Yahweh, your Elohim, that he would not only turn away this death from me. And he went out from Pharaoh and prayed to Yahweh. And Yahweh turned a very strong west wind, and he took the locust away and blew into them into the Sea of Reeds. Not one locust was left within all the borders of Mitzrayim. However, Yahweh strengthened the heart of Pharaoh, and he did not let the children of Israel go. And Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand towards the heavens, and let there be darkness over the land of Mitzrayim, even a darkness which is felt. And Moses stretched out his hand towards the heavens, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Mitzrayim for three days. They did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three days, while all the children of Israel had light in their dwelling. And Pharaoh called to Moshe and said, Go, serve Yahweh, only leave your flocks and your herds behind. Let your little ones go with you too. But Moshe said, For you yourself are to provide for us with slaughterings and ascending offerings to prepare for Yahweh our Elohim. And our livestock are to go with us too. Not a hoof is to be left behind, for we have to take some of them to serve Yahweh our Elohim. And we ourselves do not know with what we are to serve until we come there. However, Yahweh strengthened the heart of Pharaoh, and he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said to him, Get away from me. Watch yourself. See my face no more. For in the day you see my face, you die. And Moshe said, You have spoken rightly. Never do I see your face again. Chapter 11. And Yahweh said to Moshe, I am bringing yet one more plague on Pharaoh and on Mitzrayim. After that, he is going to let you go from here. When he lets you go, he shall drive you out of here altogether. 
Speak now in the hearing of the people and let every man ask from his neighbor and every aunt, woman from her neighbor objects of silver and objects of gold. And Yahweh gave the people favor in the eyes of the Mitzrites. And the man Moshe was very great in the land in Mitzrayim and in the eyes of Pharaoh's servants and in the eyes of the people. And Moshe said, thus said Yahweh, about midnight I am going out into the midst of Mitzrayim and all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim shall die from the firstborn of the Pharaoh who sits on the front throne, even to the firstborn of the female servant who is behind the handmill, and all the firstborn of the cattle. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Mitzrayim, such as never been before or ever shall be again. But against any of the children of Israel, no dog shall move its tongue against man or against beast, and that you may know that Yahweh makes its distinction between Mitzrayim and Israel. And all these servants of yours shall come down to me and bow to me, saying, Get out, you and all your people at your feet, and after I shall go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in great displeasure. But Yahweh said to Moshe, Pharaoh is not going to listen to you in order to multiply my wonders in the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh. However, Yahweh strengthened the heart of Pharaoh, and he did not let the children of Israel go out of the land. Chapter 12, and Yahweh spoke to Moshe and Aaron in the land of Mitzrayim. This is the new moon, is the beginning of the new moons for you. It is the first new moon of the year. Speak to all the congregation of Israel saying, on the 10th day of this new moon, each one of them is to take for himself a lamb according to the house of his father, a lamb for a household. And if the household is too small for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house Take it according to the number of beings, according to each man's need you make count for the lamb. Let the lamb be a perfect one, a year old male. Take it from the sheep or from the goats. And you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same new moon. Then all of the assembly of the congregation of Israel shall slay it between the evenings. And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses where they eat. And they shall eat the flesh on that night, roasted in fire, with unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Do not eat it raw, nor boiled at all with water, but roasted in fire, its head and its legs and inward parts. And do not leave it until morning, and what remains of it till morning you are to burn with fire. And this is how you are to eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Pesach of Yahweh. And I shall pass through the land of Mitzrayim on that night and strike all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, both man and beast. And on all the mighty ones of Mitzrayim, I shall execute judgment. I am Yahweh. And the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I shall pass over you and let the, not the plague come and destroy you when I strike the land of Mitzrayim. And this day shall become to you a remembrance, and you shall celebrate it as a festival to Yahweh throughout your generations. Celebrate it as a festival, an everlasting law. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. Indeed, on the first day, you cause leaven to cease from your house. For whoever eats leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that being shall be cut off from Israel. And on the first day is a set-apart gathering, and on the seventh day, you have a set-apart gathering. No work is to be done on them, only what is eaten by every being, and that alone is prepared by you. And you shall guard the festival of Matzot, for this same day I brought your divisions out of the land of Mitzrayim, and you shall guard this day throughout your generations in everlasting law. In the first month and on the 14th day of the new moon in the evening, you shall eat unleavened bread until the 21st day of the new moon in the evening. For seven days, no Leaven is to be found in your house. For if anyone eats what is leavened, the same being shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether sojourner or native of the land. Do not eat what is leavened in your all your dwellings. You are to eat unleavened bread. And Moshe called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go out and take lambs for yourselves according to your clans and slay the Pesach. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop, dip it into blood that is in the basin, and strike the lintel of the two doorposts, with the blood that is in the basin, and none of you shall go out of the doors of his house until morning. And Yahweh shall pass on to smite the Mitzrites, and shall see the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, and Yahweh shall pass over the door and not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to smite you. 
and you shall guard this word as law for you and your sons forever. And it shall be when you come to the land which Yahweh gives you as he promised that you shall guard this service. And it shall be when your children say, what does this service mean? Then you shall say, it is the Pesach slaughtering of Yahweh who passed over the houses of the children of Israel in the Mitzrayim when he smote the Mitzrites and delivered our households. And the people bowed their heads and did obeisance. <clears throat> and the children of Israel went away and did so. And Yahweh had commanded Moshe and Arian, and so they did. And it came to be at midnight that Yahweh struck all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, from the firstborn of the Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of the livestock. And Pharaoh rose up at night, and he and all of his servants, and all the Mitzrites, and there was a great cry in Mitzrayim, for there was not one house where there was not a dead one. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Arise, go out from the midst of my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go, serve Yahweh as you have said. Take both your flocks and your herds as you have said, and go, and then you shall bless me too. And the Mitzrites were strong on the people to hasten, send them away out of the land, for they said, We are all dying. And the people took their dough before it was leavened, having their kneading bowls bound up in their garments on their shoulders. And the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moshe. And they had asked from the Mitzrites of objects of silver and gold and garments. And Yahweh gave people, the people favor in the eyes of the Mitzrites so that they gave them what they had asked. And they plundered the Mitzrites. And the children of Israel set out from Ramesses to Sukkoth, about 600,000 men on foot besides the little ones. And a mixed multitude went up with them, also the flocks and the herds and very much livestock. And they baked the unleavened cakes of the dough, which they had brought out of Mitzrayim, for it was not leavened since they were driven out of Mitzrayim and were not able to delay, nor had they prepared food for themselves. And the sojourn of the children of Israel who lived in Mitzrayim was 430 years. And it came to be at the end of 430 years on that same day, it came to be of the divisions of Yahweh went out from the land of Mitzrayim. It is a night of watches unto Yahweh for bringing them out of the land of Mitzrayim. This is the night of watches unto Yahweh for all the children of Israel throughout their generations. And Yahweh said to Moshe and Aaron, this is the law of the Pesach. No son of a stranger is to eat of it, but any servant, a man who is brought, bought with silver, when you have circumcised him, then let him eat of it. A sojourner and a hired servant does not eat of it. It is eaten in one house. You are not to take any of the flesh outside of the house, nor are you to break any bone of it. All the congregation of Israel are to perform it. And when a stranger sojourns with you and shall perform the Pesach to Yahweh, let all of his males be circumcised, and then he shall come near and perform it, and he shall be a native of the land, but let no uncircumcised eat of it. There is one Torah for the native born and for the stranger who sojourns among you. And all the children of Israel did as Yahweh commanded, Moshe and Aaron, so they did. And they came to be on that same day that Yahweh brought the children of Israel out of the land of Mitzrayim according to their divisions. Chapter 13. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Set apart to me all the firstborn, the one opening the womb among the children of Israel, among man and among beast. It is mine. And Moshe said to the people, Remember this day in which you went out of Mitzrayim, out of the house of slavery. For by strength of hand of Yahweh brought you out of this place, and whatever is leavened shall not be eaten. Today you are going out in the new moon Abib, and it shall be. When Yahweh brings you into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Yeshubites, which you swore to your fathers to give to you, a land flowing with milk and honey, that you shall keep this service in this new moon. Seven days you are to eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day is a festival to Yahweh. Unleavened bread is to be eaten in the seven days, and whatever is leavened is not to be seen with you, and leaven is not to be seen within all of your border. And you shall inform your son that day, saying, It is because of what Yahweh did for me when I came out of Mitzrayim, and it shall be a sign to you on your hand as a reminder between your eyes that the Torah of Yahweh is to be in your mouth, 
for with a strong hand Yahweh has brought you out of Mitzrayim, and you shall guard this law at its appointed time from year to year. And it shall be when Yahweh brings you into the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and your fathers and gives it to you, that you shall give over to Yahweh every one opening the womb and every firstborn that comes from your livestock, the male belongs to Yahweh. But every firstborn of a donkey you are to ransom with a lamb. And if you do not ransom it, then you shall break its neck. And every firstborn of a man among your sons you are to ransom. And it shall be when your son asks you in time, 